So here we have to find cosine of 2x, which again seems like a very nebulous instruction, but they do give us more information. So recall that if we have an exact trig ratio, which they did give us, uh, that we can always draw a triangle. Now this extra piece of information seems random, but it will tell us what quadrant we're in. So let's see here. Notice it says cotangent is positive two-thirds. So this, I, I don't like to deal with the reciprocal functions. I like to deal with the, like the, you know, the basic functions, the regular functions. So I know that tangent is positive, and this guy here says sine is positive. So I just have to do a little bit of thinking which quadrants um, is both sine and tangent positive. Well, this is your responsibility for knowing. You need to know that that means we're in quadrant one. So all this stuff here says we're in quadrant one, which is nice because everything is positive in quadrant one. So let's go ahead and draw that triangle. So I know, according to this piece of information, that uh, in a right triangle where the angle is x, I know that the cotangent adjacent over opposite is 2 over 3. So then I can use Pythagoras' theorem to figure out the hypotenuse, which is going to be the square root of 9 plus 4 is 13. And then uh, I just have to use the double angle formula for cosine. Now, if you look at your reference sheet, the double angle formula for cosine has many variations. It has three variations. And it really doesn't matter which one you use. Just because it comes first, I'll use the first variations. So that's cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And we can get all of these values from just looking at the picture. So cosine is going to be 2 over radical 13, and we've got to square him, minus the sine, which is 3 over radical 13, and then we have to square him. So that's going to give us 4 over 13 minus 9 over 13, which is negative 5 over 13. Easy peasy.